All right, guys, today I'm talking about golf fashion, men's golf fashion, mainly women's golf fashion. I went to Dick's Sporting Goods and Galaxy Golf to see what I could find. Those are the two stores in my town that have golf attire here. Otherwise, I need to go and look online. So there's not a lot of options here in our city. I don't have high hopes for what I'm going to see out there. I know that the main rule for golf courses is to have a collar. Collars look great on men, polo shirts, easy and simple. But when it comes to women's attire, you know, they tack on a little collar onto women's clothing. It kind of looks like one of those dickies you used to wear, not me. Um, but Howard from The Big Bang Theory, he would always wear the dickies under his shirts. It's exactly what it looks like for women's fashion. I'm betting most of what I'm going to see is going to look like your Best Buy polo shirts. I don't want to look like I'm going to work at Best Buy, guys. The common misconception about golf clothing is that you look like you're preppy, you look elite. I know you've got to look put together and classy for golf. That's the whole point of golf. It's what makes it fun. You can get dressed up, but I still want to look sporty and feel sporty and feel comfortable. So a little disclaimer here. I hadn't planned on shooting this video for a while, but I was out and about yesterday, so I decided to go ahead and stop at Dick's Sporting Goods and Golf Galaxy. I didn't have my camera with me, I only had my phone and no mic, so I apologize for the bad video, and I apologize for any muffled sound, that's when I had my mask on, and I also didn't really want the workers to see me videotaping, I didn't want them to ask questions or tell me to stop. I was already getting some really weird looks from customers at the time. Um, so I was trying to keep it under wraps. So I apologize for any bad audio and video. I hope you enjoy this video though. Let's get to it. Okay, we're gonna go into Dick's today to find out what they have got for golf outfits or golf clothes for women's golf outfits. Uh, so let's go take a look. I guess we gotta still mask up. Let's go see what they've got. The reason that everybody has the misconception that it's a 40 year old dad that likes to play golf on Palm Beach. Look at the color of these polo shirts. Not against polo color, I'm just saying. That is a 45 year old dad on Palm Beach playing golf right there. Every color in the rainbow, but what makes me happy? Look at all this black. You could be a goth golfer. Goth, you know, G O T H. I don't think I've ever seen someone out wearing black while they're out playing golf. I'm usually a huge fan of Puma, but guys, if you wear these shirts out playing golf, just beware. If you're trying to pick up a girl, you're not going to pick them up in those shirts. But then again, golf isn't about picking up girls. Golf is about you, so you wear what you want to wear. The only way a guy is going to pick up a girl in these shirts is if they're a PGA player with a whole lot of money. But again, you do you. Me, I'm just not the type of girl that's into preppy guys. But little designs on your shorts, I I think I'm just not that type of girl. I don't understand it. As I said earlier, golf is not about picking up the chicks, apparently. It's about you. You enjoy. Probably the most non-prep golf outfit I've seen put together. Whoever put that together at our dicks, good for you. Um, I would associate with you out on the golf course in that outfit. Even with the pink faded salmon color. That does not look preppy. That just looks like a really good looking guy. So easy to see how women are not a thought when it comes to golf. The golf section at Dick's is three to four times, probably five times the size of the women's. Let me show you. This little section right here is all the girls get. Why do they have to be tiny little skirts like you're playing tennis? I mean, I get it. You want to be cute and summery, but hot pink spandexy. For women, you're gonna understand this. Every single bit of cellulite is going to show in that skirt. It, I just don't get the differential between men's golf attire and women's golf attire. It's, I don't know. And again, like I've said in other videos, this is a women's shirt. The shirt with this collar makes me feel like I'm gonna go work at Best Buy. Give me my name tag and give me my bling. We need to talk about your flair. Really? I, I have 15 pieces on. Let's go work at Best Buy behind the counter. Come on, guys. I swear we can do better in this day and age with how many women are getting into the game of golf. This looks like a tennis skirt. Have I entered the tennis section at Dick's and I just don't know about it? Nope, I'm still in golf. It's like they just took over the tennis clothes 
and decided to put them on women for golf. That looks like something I would go and play tennis in. I, I'm just kind of blown away. I get it, the industry has not been predominantly female. It's usually not a female sport, but you wonder why more women don't want to get into the sport or you think about your genre, your, uh, usually it's 40 to 50 year old women that you would see down on Palm Beach wearing these bright colors. Those are the women you get into golf. We need to up the fashion game when it comes to golf to get in our younger millennial, millennial fashionistas. And I don't mean to crow on these brands. They're at least out there trying to do something. But this shirt right here, I would be a 50 year old retired woman wearing my pearls, sipping a Long Island iced tea somewhere at my club. Here's another issue. So many of the golf courses require collars because it is predominantly a men's sport. So collared shirts, that makes sense. That rule should not cross over to women. Women are all, not out there wearing polo shirts. So you take a great little shirt and just stick a collar on there that looks out of place. It looks like maybe a school uniform is what this reminds me of. But the golf industry needs to change the collar rule for women when it comes to the sport. All these tiny, tight skirts that they have, and extremely tiny, I mean, that's cute. I like the pleats. But with all of these tiny skirts and tiny shorts, either have to have the most immaculate legs, no cellulite, or just not give a crap and want to rock every piece of body that doesn't look right to the standard out there. Um, look, I don't have that much of an issue with my body, but I don't want to be rocking shorts that hit just below my butt cheek. White tail, I will say these are a hit for me. They look more like something I've worn to the office. Uh, they've got a nice spandexy feel. At least I'm assuming that spandex. I'm not sure. Probably, I don't know. Um, I don't know my fabrics, but I would wear that. I'd definitely wear that. It's a great feel. Let's see what, what is it? They don't say what it is. I don't know what fabric it is, but yeah. I think that's one of the only things that I found here that I'd actually wear. Um, I feel like I could wear these into the office and then also go to the golf course right after and you wouldn't feel like you look like you are heading out to play golf. So these pants are actually one of the only things I've seen that are a win. Let me understand this one. It's got, it looks like a scuba shirt. Like I'm going scuba diving. I can't really show you because this pattern is, I mean, good Lord, put this pattern in the bottom of the sea and you'd be just fine. Wear this on a golf course. I, I honestly look like I'm about to go snorkeling. It's even got the zip up in the back, just like a snorkeling top, but this is a golf top. And I get it, you're wanting to cover up your body from the sun, which makes sense. A lot of these are UV, protective. Um, they protect your skin from the sun to a degree. But come on, this pattern. I look like I should be looking for Nemo under the ocean. Under the sea? Under the ocean? Whatever. Go with my scuba top. I can just wear another tennis skirt. I didn't realize how much tennis fashion and golf fashion overlapped. I, that definitely leads to the misperception, misconception of it being more the rich elites because those are the type of ladies that would, you know, have tea and lunch, go play tennis, and then play a round of golf. So I get why the fashion crosses over. Not a girl that would have ever played tennis, so I'm not sure why I would ever want to wear clothes to play golf that look like I just came off the tennis court. I'm a baseball playing, sports loving, give me some track pants and a t-shirt. But I'm just blown away by how much women's fashion for golf looks like I'm gonna go have a ladies luncheon and play tennis. Um, we've gotta change the standards when it comes to women's golf, to the guidelines of fashion. I think we can do that in a respectful way, not showing off too much skin, but apparently showing off skin is just fine. You know, we're showing it off wearing these short skirts. Um, I don't know, I'm just really dumbfounded by women's golf fashion. I'm not surprised that there isn't more in Dick's. I can go look at a golf galaxy and find a lot more, probably. Um, but with COVID, we've gotten a lot more women into golf and hopefully golf fashion is paying attention to that and catching up with this. Because if, if going off of this fashion, if you tried to get me into golf, it would be a big heck no. 
I would actually wear that. I didn't see that outfit here. Um, these black slacks are from the same brand. So those are blue slacks. I would wear that and not feel like I'm too preppy. Um, I could almost wear that to work minus that shirt, but you could wear the vest and the slacks to work. I could even wear the tennis shoes now. Um, but that one's not bad. Too bad I don't see it on the floor anywhere. So we're going into Golf Galaxy. Yes, I got a mask up before I can go in here. The shopping. I think we need to change the stereotype that Saturdays are for the boys. You know, I hear the complaints that husbands go out and play eight hours and leave the wife at home with the kids. Then wives, you go do it. You call it first, leave the husbands at home with the kids, you take your ladies out for eight hours on the course, have lunch, have drinks, go do it first. Let's change the stereotype. The clothing options here are a little bit better. They're not as out there in your face, which again, I've got nothing wrong with. You do you. Um, those look a bit more subdued, which is more my type. Those are guys clothing though. And then a little Talladega Nights. Nice car racing type shirts here. You know, people like to golf, but also like race cars. But I'm definitely getting some Talladega Nights vibes with those shirts. Totally much more my style. Guys, if you want to wear vibrant shirts, you do it. Golf's about you, you do you, but I love that. But I also don't like colors. I love gray and black with everything. Okay, so what I'm noticing again, Golf Galaxy, I'd say the women's section is uh, probably only a fifth of what the men's section is. I get it, we're still struggling to get women in, but there's just not much of a selection in anything. I look like I should be sipping a pina colada in Hawaii. That's what this looks like. Pretty much the same type of stuff that I saw over at Dick's Sporting Goods. I saw that and kind of liked it, but again, I don't like colors. That looks like I should be on an island somewhere. And meow, I mean, if you don't want to hide, there you go, ladies. Purple and blue leopard print. Uh, it's definitely not subtle, the patterns that I'm seeing. That is the sportiest little top I have seen um, in the golf section so far. Is that Lady Hagen? I like that. I'd definitely wear that. It's giving me some Adidas vibes, definitely. I found the skirt that matches that scuba top at Dick's Sporting Goods. I mean, this looks like something I would go swimming in if I didn't want to wear bikini bottoms. That has to hit just right underneath my butt cheeks. I do not have good enough looking legs to pull that stuff off and I would never wear something that looks like I belong scuba diving. More tennis dress vibes. Definitely tennis dressy. Can someone explain it to me? Why is there so much tennis clothes or tennis style in women's golf clothing? Is there a connection that I'm missing? outside of the misconception that it's just a bunch of older ladies that are retired and have money and can go play golf and tennis at the same time. Okay guys, I found a dress I like. It's cute, I like the color, but I've held it up to myself and the issue is, it's still so short it hits me mid-thigh. And if we're gonna have issues in the golf industry of women wearing clothes that show off their butts, then stop making things so short. It's so short it comes with its own little pair of Spanx underneath of it so that when it flies up, you're not showing off your back end. If those are the clothes you're designing, then men, you've got no right to complain that women are showing too much skin because that's the golf industry. So this is more an issue for women. Mostly what I saw out of the stores are the incredibly bright colors that look like I should be on an island somewhere sipping a drink. I am not a fan of bright colors. I like my grays and my blacks. Uh, throw in a few skulls. I know I look like it, right? Um, I absolutely love the black skull dress that I'll pop up somewhere here. Love that. I would definitely wear that out on the golf course. Um, a lot of the big issues I saw while we were out there looking at Dick's Sporting Goods and Golf Galaxy is for the women, it is short skirts. And like I said before in the video, I know there's a lot of guys that love that on women. You'll get some of the older, more conservative guys that complain about it. I really question how much they're actually complaining about it. Um, but for me, even if I had toned, perfectly looking legs, I don't want to constantly show them off. I don't want to be looking like I'm wearing a bathing suit. 
And so much of women's golf fashion is the incredibly short skirts, like the tennis skirts. I don't, if I'm not going to wear a pair of shorts that are right below my butt cheek to go to the grocery store, why am I wearing something like that out on the golf course? I, I don't understand the connection between that. And I know there's a lot of girls that like to show it off. Got no issue there. You do you, boo. And I know there's a lot of men that like to see it. But for me getting into golf from the sporty aspect of it, I don't want to wear something that just is right underneath my butt cheek or if the wind just blows or if I bend over just a little too much. It's, it's, think of it this way. If I go golfing with my dad, if I go golfing with my grandpa, is that something I'm going to want them to see? And men, you should also think this. I know there's a wonderful aspect to seeing women out there. I mean, and there are some good looking women. If I had the chance to go golfing with like Paige Spiernak, I wouldn't take my eyes off of her and that's coming from a female. Women are beautiful to look at when they've got a great body and they've got great confidence, but think about it from the aspect of being a father with a young daughter. Do you want her to wear the shortest skirt that she has to show off her butt cheeks and have all of these other men oogling her. And I know that is her choice. It's a woman's choice. Again, you do you, boo. But give us some other options. And men, if you have daughters you want out there playing and maybe wives, you should be advocates for that change too, to give us some better options to not have a skirt that's right up there. Um, there's been too many horror stories of really wonderful female golfers that do wear those short skirts and then they get commented on later on podcasts, TV shows, uh, sporting shows by men. And again, that is our choice to wear those outfits. We can't stop men from looking. I don't think that's right either. If I'm going to choose to show it, men are going to be men and they're going to look. Um, I'm getting off into a tangent here, but again, girls, wear what you want but I love some better options. If I don't want to show off my cellulite, I'd prefer to wear something else. And there's just not enough out there for women. When you go into these stores and the women's section is a fifth the size of the men's, you know there's an issue in the industry, especially when it's women that like to go shopping. Um, and with COVID, so many more women have gotten into the game of golf. And so I'm hoping that the industry has expanded when it comes to clothing. I hope to do a future video of getting online and trying to find some really wonderful women's golf clothing, some more hip golf clothing, even for men, um, some small business golf clothing. I'd love to get out there and find that online. It's disappointing that you can't find that in stores in a major city. I think we just need, and we may have out there, uh, let me know if you know any of these great designers, but we need some really hip young millennial designers to bring changes into the golf industry and to take out some of the regulations that we have from eras gone by. Uh, I mean, go back to the first video I did about golf fashion and you can get kicked off of the golf course for wearing black socks. Black socks, people. Black socks. That's a problem. If we're gonna be so stuck up in this industry then you're not going to get the next generation out there playing. They're not going to come to the golf courses. They're going to go to Top Golf. They might go to just a public golf course. But if you want the private golf courses to continue, start reaching out and start changing in certain areas. Um, and one of those is the black socks. It's just mind boggling to me. Uh, so much of this would have stopped me getting into golf if I hadn't wanted to look into it. It's what leads to all of these misconceptions. And unfortunately, when it comes to golf clothing, it's not a misconception, it's true. It is really bad fashion. It gives you a certain look that most millennials, Gen Zs, Gen Xers, Gen Ys, I don't know, the younger generation don't want to look. Now, a lot of the younger generation do want to look hip and elegant and suave and put together. And I know a lot of guys do. They enjoy that aspect of golf. So we can still do that. Guys have an easier ability to do that. I've noticed when it comes to golf clothing than women do. It's just too outdated for women's clothing. We've 
got to change golf clothing when it comes to women. Even some of these new companies I'm seeing and new designers coming out portraying a new vision of women's golf attire, it's still the same clothing. It's still the exuberant bright highlighter colors. It's still the short tight skirts. It's, it's still the exact same look. There's no difference. Um, so I think it's going to take some really great young designers out there. It's going to take changing some of the older generation's views on the golf course, opening up their minds, and um, it's, I don't know who's going to do it. If you think it's you, if you can get out there on social media, if you know any small um, golf clothing attire businesses, if you know any hip up and coming designers, if you can suggest any of them, please comment down below. I'd love to take a look at them. I need some help when it comes to golf attire because dang, there's just nothing out there and there's definitely not anything for women. Um, so hit me up, let me know. I will admit, I know the stereotype is that women are supposed to like shopping. I generally like shopping. I even like going into sports stores. I loved walking around Dick's Sporting Goods. It was great. But when it comes to golf fashion for women, I've never detested shopping for clothes more. That's a problem. If a woman detests shopping for clothes, there's an issue there. And guys, if you want to get your girlfriends, your daughters, your wives into golf, help push that change when it comes to women's golf fashion too. Because I'm sorry, most women do not want to wear the golf attire that is out there. It just... There needs to be a lot of changes to get us into the future. And again, I haven't delved deep enough into it to see if those changes are happening. I'm from Kansas City. We just don't have much here. So I'm going to do a future video of getting online and trying to find some hip, great golf clothing companies that I can only get from searching online. Um, and until then, I guess I will talk to you guys next time. If you like this content, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Don't give me a thumbs down. Give me a thumbs down if you want, whatever. Um, and subscribe, but really those thumbs up help me out a lot to know if this content is good. And, uh, you know, share my videos out there with your female golfers, with your wives, your daughters. Let's see what they think about the golf industry. Get their ideas out there on social media and let's just get us talking about it. Let's make golf fun. Let's make golf attractive when it comes to clothing for women. And let's just get out there. Thanks guys.